Hi and welcome back. It's Vicky here and today I'm going to share a different type of video. I'm going to create some really adorable annual treat bags. For that I'm using one of the new dies by Sizzix. This is uh, one of their big dies which means that it cuts out not only paper but also heavy cardstock, fabric, felt, so many different uh, materials there. And I'm going to show you now how I like to store these uh, pig's dies. Just because they are black, you can't really tell what it actually cuts out. So I always keep uh, the paper from the packaging. I'm just going to cut it out to size and stick it at the front of my die. This way when I browse my dies, I always have an image in front so I know exactly what I'm looking for. Now this die cuts out a basic shape which uh, you have to cut out twice to create uh, the box and then there are a bunch of other dies that you can cut out that you can mix and match to create all the different animals and the different cutouts can be used in many ways than just one which I'm going to show you in this video. Now one of these boxes can be made by using just one cardstock and uh, you can also use white cardstock and just color all the different parts at the end. For these examples I'm going to use colored cardstock. So first of all I have cut out two of those basic shapes to create my box. The die cuts out the shapes but also creates the scoring line. So all I'm doing here is just reinforcing them with my bone folder. And I'm going to do the same thing for both of those shapes. These two die cuts have to be completely identical, so you have to fold them the exact same way. I'm also going to fold those flaps there. And now my two die cuts are ready to put together, so all I have to do now is to add some uh, tape adhesive at the flaps. And I am doing that for both my die cuts. And then I'm just going to slide them together. In this video I'm going to show you once how this box is made and then I'm going to show you different variations on how you can use the different cutouts to create lots of animals. So now I'm just going to peel off the backing and stick those flaps with the main body of the animal and then slide those two together and you will see that they match perfectly. Now, if you noticed, I added uh, a tape adhesive only at the flaps, so at the base I have no tape or glue at all. If you want, you can add some uh, tape at the bottom, and of course, depending on how heavy it reads, you want to add inside. For my case, I think it's fine, and I don't need to add any glue to stick together the bottom flaps. Depends on how sturdy you want your box to be. Now I'm going to show you how big this is. I have uh, three little uh, horses here and you can see that it fits them nicely. It fits even more than that and I think it's a great box to add uh, cookies inside as well. They are great boxes to use as party favors and you can customize it to the theme of the party or uh, to your favorite animal. Now let's take a look on all the cutouts, the rest of the cutouts that uh, these die cuts that you can mix and match to create different animals. So as you can see you get three different uh, ears. Depending on which animal you are going for, just choose the correct uh, set of ears. And uh, some of them actually, the bunny ears, can be used not only as ears but also as wings. And I'll show you an example later on for the penguin. It also gives you an option of uh, noses, so you can uh, use all those three ones and especially this beak can be uh, folded and you can create a really dimensional beak. But remember you can be really creative with those cutouts and this can also be used as a horn for a unicorn. Now those little pieces can be used as feathers at the top of the head for maybe a little cheek or you can use them as whiskers. In the packaging you will find some suggestions on how you can put all these animals together and I'm going to make some today. So for my first animal I'm going for a cat. The cat is going to be orange just because my cat is orange as well. So I have cut out the ears twice just to customize them a little bit. Once out of orange cardstock and one more time out of white cardstock so that I can ink them up just a little bit to give them a touch of pink. And now I am using my scissors to make those uh, white ears slightly smaller so I can place them and stick them on top of the orange ones to create the effect that I am going for. 
This is so much fun to make and it's really fun to play with your kids as well. I think that if you like creating your own treat boxes, this is a must have uh, die, especially since you can customize it so much. Now for the tail again, I have um, cut it out twice, one from orange and one from uh, white. And I'm going to stick one piece on top of the other, just a little bit of uh, paper piecing to make this cut look like my own, since it has uh, a little bit of white at the end of his tail. And I'm going to stick that at the back of my box. Another thing that I'm planning to do is to create little bunnies and uh, Add inside the box little uh, chocolate eggs. They would make great treat boxes for Easter. So as you can see, I added the nose, the eyes and the whiskers. And here is my little treat bag, ready to go. Now, I always like to add a finishing touch of uh, a white dot inside black eyes on my animals. I think it brings them more to life. Now, for the next animal, I'm going for a penguin, and this time I'm not going to show you how I put the box together. It's the exact same process as the first one, but this time I just used black. I also cut out this panel one more time out of white cardstock so that I can stick it in front. Now, these cutouts can be used as bunny ears, as dog ears, or they can be used as uh, the wings for the penguin. So I have cut them out of uh, black here, I'm going to stick them at the back. I also used orange cardstock, and that was the ear in the previous animal, this time it's going to be the beak. I also cut out uh, a couple of eyes, which I'm going to stick down. And my penguin is ready, if you want to take it a step further, you can cut out that shape that is now a beak, took out of uh, red cardstock like I did, and create a little uh, bow for your penguin. And you can see that the same shape can be used in so many different ways, just be creative. But again, there is a guide for many animals at the front of the packaging. And now let's go for a dog. This time I'm using craft cardstock and brown cardstock. This time the wings of the penguin are dog ears. And again, remember that these are going to be your bunny ears as well. And I'm sticking down the rest of the cutouts to complete my dog. Now this tie is actually on sale, you will find all the links that you need down below in the description area as well as on my blog. I think this is a tie that you are going to love and you are going to have lots of fun with it and I absolutely recommend it. And remember that this is a big tie which means that you can cut it out of really heavy cardstock and make your boxes really sturdy. You can add some glue at the top if you want to keep them closed depending on what treats you add inside, of course. So here are all the three animals that I made for today using the new Sizzix die. It was lots of fun to create. Here are some close-up photos on all my treat boxes. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I hope you all have a lovely day.